the last spawn pack of 2023. Hoping that it'll also prepare you for a very solid and explored 2024. Now, of course, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. So what I got for you guys is again, the, the last spawn pack of the year. So all 27 of these fonts that you guys see right now will actually be in the description down below to be able to be downloaded one by one and also the sources if you guys need to as well. But more or less, we have some of my favorites of the font pack series, sans serifs and display fonts. So let's just jump into a few that I want to highlight. So don't waste your time. Also, as per usual, do not forget to check out the everything pack. It's the first link in the description down below where you basically all my products, all custom made products by me on my self I page right now, literally all of them on one purchase. Plus all future products for free no matter the price forever so first let's start off with these sans serif fonts because there's a lot more out there besides helvetica grow up first up though is known as nohemi nohemi is a sans serif font that has nine weights and has multi-language support so it makes for a great branding font where you want things to just kind of be cohesive with its clean lines and modern aesthetics it makes it perfect for digital and print applications and i'm unsure if it's just because of presentation alone but the vibe and like the aura of the font just pull off this elegant look that feels like a luxury sans typeface and all in all it's an easy pickup that just won't go unnoticed but something that may go unnoticed and maybe something that we can all relate to ugly all serious no this font's name is known as mush which i think is french for ugly which is really mean but it's honestly anything but that it's a self-proclaimed reverse contrast sans serif typeface with its bold and loose ends the font tends to have exaggerated characters that flare out at the points it's an incredibly unique face that is inspired by classic roman inscription reinterpreted in a modern style it's bold funky vibrant and just makes for a perfect addition to your collections i mean it, it is like really cool you should have called it like Wait, hold on. You should have called it Julie. <laughs> I tried. Up next, though, is JetBrains. And yes, I do know this is a mono typeface, just for the record. But JetBrains in particular is coined as the typeface for developers. Even running through the website that the font download is hosted on that also accesses presentation, it's it's just awesome. I recently just used this typeface in a coding textured expiration that my client loved and sort of kind of gave the canvas this futuristic feeling. Something cool that I thought was that the characters actually remain standard in width, but the height of the lower case is actually maximized meaning that the lowercase letters in theory stretch to sit a bit higher while still rendering as a lowercase letter, which remains true to the coin claim that it keeps the coding line to the length that the developers would expect. Its story and reasoning alone for the character development is just top tier. It, and it really does work as like a really cool like type texture font. Trust me, just give it a shot. And a quick last mention for another sans serif font in this group is lunch type. Not much to say about this for the record, but again, it's just another great sans serif that just feels just fun and relatable somehow. The stark black background and these little colorful emotes in the actual presentation already feels like a really solid design direction to attempt when it utilizes this actual typeface. And a funny thing about this font that the designer actually said that they were doing this font during their lunch break and these little small moments when he felt the most uninspired. I just thought it was really cool and I just had to mention it as a highlight. Anyway, now for some display fonts in this collection. Starting off with this font, known as a deco. I have been exploring plenty of urban style grunge-esque designs and this font just fell into my rotation. The presentation alone gives a clear use case and usability on how to actually structure this face. One of the coolest parts is that the orange character set that you guys see isn't actually a layer style and the designer actually created the font with that layer style too. So it just makes this font easier for people to use and just incredibly consistent. It's an easy download for me. Miga is next and it'll always blow my mind with how pretty and also how many font files are inside of this family 96 to be exact i feel as if this font speaks for itself with this premium vintage look and appeal it's it's just sexy perfect for branding magazine posters logos titles blogs and and probably much more the fact that i'm able to put this in a free for commercial use and personal use video is insane and i felt that it deserved its quick flowers as well now this next font sinistry is gonna hit my like grunge metal inspired apparel designers like a rock no like a truck rocks are kind of small and yeah, like a truck. Sinistry combines Roman proportions and subtle hints of fracture into a soft letter form and sharp terminations. I didn't write that, I took it from the designer, but in other words, it's it's just dope. Sinistry suits contemporary titling purposes, towing a line between historical references, newness, and loftiness. I hope I didn't have to tell you to download this if you're like in the market for something that has like this much aura about it, but just in case I do, it's just so dope. When I showed it first on Twitter, everyone was just like, oh, Sinistry, oh. 
just just join the club lastly i do want to highlight anva in my display collections in the world of ai and computers just popping up all over the place i made sure to slowly start building these typefaces in my font library it's ideal for large titles and heading texts and perfectly suited for use of projects related to gaming future tech space travel virtual reality and just pretty much just all things future it has a slight edge and retro culture feel to it that just makes it stand out from other futuristic font faces and personally i would just say i'd download it and with with that i hope you guys actually found a few different typefaces that you want to download and yeah they're all in the description down below for the record per usual just as well as the everything pack again i had to but don't forget there's literally 20 more other typefaces that i didn't go over in particular to highlight but more or less just want to show you some of my favorite ones so just don't forget like oh there's a lot of cool ones and just i just wanted to you know put it up to you on which ones you wanted to download they're all free for commercial use meaning you can use them for pretty much anything but also do not forget to check the license for all these different font faces as always there's different licenses per each one but most of the times we're kind of good to go but with that being said that is sesso hq out do not forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later much love peace happy holidays and i just realized i'm a i'm apologetic I didn't have my tree on but it is it's coming on right after this so i love you guys and peace